we make hydro treating catalyst for uh, heavy or atmospheric residue, the bottom of the barrel. We clean the bottom of the barrel out of uh, sulfur and nitrogen and uh, heavy metals to make this uh, bottom of the barrel ready for further downstream processing, mm -hmm. further conversion using fluid catalytic cracking, using delayed coking, using different kinds of downstream processes. Mm -hmm. and, and this process, I think, in the Middle East is unique for Kuwait. Kuwaiti refineries are based on bottom of the barrel hydrotreating, mm -hmm. while other refineries in the Gulf, for instance, are based on mainly on hydrocracking. Uh, so in this respect, the refining industry is unique to the Middle East, is similar to the refineries in Japan, uh, Edimitsu refineries, or some of the uh, refineries in the US. So measuring complexity, uh, what we say about Kuwaiti refineries, they're more complex mm -hmm. than other Gulf refineries. They, uh, these refineries can convert uh, oils to more to, to lighter, more lighter products, more uh, marketable uh, products. Uh, our catalyst is uh, art catalyst, advanced refining technology catalyst, and advanced refining technology today covers about seventy percent of the hydro treating catalyst market in the world. Uh, it is uh, uh, more efficient, it's higher conversion, uh, higher uh, conversion capacity catalyst which can des uh, better desulfurize uh, petroleum fuels. And it is, it is uh, uh, marketable in, uh, we, we uh, are marketing it or selling it in Japan, in uh, from our plant, uh, Korea mainly, some in in, in the uh, in the U.S. and France, total refineries, and the rest of it are sold here in Kuwait.